understanding diversity in this chapter we will learn that people are different from each other in many ways not only they look different but they might also belong to different regional cultural or religious backgrounds these differences enrich our lives in many ways as per the story which is given in your book samir a and samir do although they both are more at home in different languages they still communicate with each other moreover they have different opportunities while one went to school the other could not this story is a anecdote from senaguptas the light changed all of us are unique different from others difference may be on the basis of language color height food habits clothes lifestyle custom religions region interests culture practices etc some people may like to read the story books or history books science books or political science books animal books or other subject books etc depending on each one's interest likewise india is a land of diversity what is inequality when a person does not have the resources and opportunities that are available to other persons caste system according to this society was divided into different groups depending upon the work that people did and they were supposed to remain in those groups like brahmins kshatriyas vaishyas sudras etc this system was considered irreversible and because you were not supposed to change your profession this created a situation of inequality diversity in india people speak different languages celebrate different festivals and eat various types of food diversity is a reality created by individuals and groups from broad spectrum of demography and philosophical differences the factors influencing diversity are the first one historical and geographical factors are the two factors that influence the diversity of a region life of people near the sea is different from the people in a mountainous area for a long time people traveled from one place to other place for various reason such as trade employment drought or because of wars they had to leave their homes due to this migration of people from one place to other place their languages food music customs traditions became a mix of new and old culture with it and came something new and different different cultural influences have helped to shape life and culture there these regions became very diverse because of their unique histories let us try to understand what we mean when we say that historical and geographical factors influence the diversity of a region let us take the example of ladakh and kerala ladakh is a desert in the mountains in the eastern part of jammu and kashmir very little agriculture is possible here as the land is covered by snow most part of the year sheep is very important animal because they produce pashmina wool 
Pashmina shawls are chiefly worn in Kashmir. Ladakh was considered a good trade route as it had many passes. Buddhism reached Tibet via Ladakh. Buddhism is also called Little Tibet. Islam was introduced in this region for more than 400 years ago. Kesar Saga, the Tibetan national epic, are performed and sung by both Muslims and Buddhists. Kerala Kerala is located in the southern western part of India. It is surrounded by sea on one side and the hills on the other. Kerala is famous for spices like pepper, cloves and cardamom. Hence, over the years, many traders have come to Kerala for trade. The Apostle of Christ, Saint Thomas, is believed to come here nearly 2000 years ago, who introduced Christianity in India. Over the years, Arab traders also have come. Ibn Battuta wrote a travel log describing the lives of Muslims. They were well respected people, he said. The Portuguese discovered sea route to India. Vasco da Gama landed here in Calicut. This reason Kerala practice different religions today Judaism, Islam, Christianity. Hinduism and Muslims. Traders from China also have come. We have example of Chinese fishing nets called famously Chiniwala. Land is fertile in Kerala, hence people go rice and vegetable. Fish is very important food for them. Both are influenced by geographical location affecting food habits and occupation, influenced by traders affecting culture and religion. Hence, we find both Kerala and Ladakh are influenced. Unity in diversity. Diversity means the lack of uniformity and the sense of variety. Despite the diversities listed above, there are similarities that unite us. We all are Indian and during the freedom struggle, the whole country came together to send away the British. Irrespective of their diverse backgrounds, culture, religion, etc. The Indian flag is the most important national symbol and it reminds us of our unity in diversity. The national anthem composed by Rabindranath Tagore is another expression of the unity of India. India's diversity has always been recognized as a source of its strength. India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, wrote a book, Discovery of India, which depicts the power of unity in diversity in Indian contexts. It was Nehru who coined the phrase, unity in diversity to describe the country. What is the meaning of diversity? Diversity, the sense of variety that exists in the traits, looks, behavior, culture, religion, language, abilities, resources and opportunities related to the different people is said to be diversity. Inequality, the differences between two or more people that arise because of their abilities, resources and opportunities or their caste etc. are termed as inequalities. Habitat The geographical area where a living being has adapted and lives comfortably is called the habitat of the living being. Resources Anything that can be of any use in any activity is called to be a resource. The Jalilwala Bagh Massacre On April 13, 1919, a British general and his troops attacked a large meeting of unarmed people. Several men and women were killed brutally. 
The incident is called the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Unity, a strong bond with the people. Culture, the customs, belief, art, way of life, we shifted from one generation to the next. I hope this has been an enriching lesson to you. Thank you.